damos la bienvenida a Kevon Swift, quien nos presentará el programa Líderes. Adelante, Kevon. Buenos días a todo el mundo. Eh, un poco como el tiempo hoy, creo que voy a seguir hablando en inglés porque the clouds, the coldness, and on this fifth day of activity, I think I'm just going to change it up a bit. So good day, everyone, and thank you very much for remaining here at this time while I do the presentation on Leaderist. Leaderist is a program that we have to give support to internet governance across the region. So to understand, I'm just looking right now to see if the slides will go up. Good, thank you. So to understand a bit as to why we wanted to do this program, uh, let's just take a bit a look at the background uh, behind um, Leaderis. We had noticed that there have been already a number of instances of regional internet governance processes in the region, namely the Caribbean IGF, which is claimed to be one of the first regional internet governance processes in the world, and they're about to celebrate their 14th edition in a few weeks, it's the 21st to 23rd of May in Parimaribo, Suriname. And also our very LAC IGF is about to celebrate the 11th edition in Argentina. The question of NRIs, which are national, regional, sub-regional, or youth IGF initiatives, it is something that we found very important to understand and to actually cement uh, good internet governance practices, and we felt it's important to have this program to be able to give support to that. What we had noticed across the region is that there has been about 14 initiatives at the national level that have been occurring, and we did a very basic filter of those 14 initiatives, some of which we consider to be the initiatives in their primary stages, and then we have some more consolidated spaces, such as Brazil, Colombia, and Mexico. And this just gives you an outline of those initiatives across the region that is served by LACNIC. We have initiatives in all of these countries, and you have as well an idea as to when the last uh, meetings, the last internet governance forums took place. So one of the things, as I was mentioning, is very important for us is that we continue to ensure that the internet is open, stable, secure, and it's to the service of development in Latin America and the Caribbean. And we wanted to make sure that we'll be able to promote this, promote good internet governance practices, and also be involved in discussions that will involve the issues that we deal with, resource management. And on another level, for the last two years, at the global level, there has been an increasing amount of attention paid to NRIs, particularly those at national level, to basically consolidate the question of developing internet governance, internet policy in a multi-stakeholder dispensation. So the objectives of leaders include to give support and to consolidate uh, regional and national initiatives to also identify leaders of internet governance initiatives and I give them a platform at the regional level at LAC IGF, a platform in which they can share their experiences and they can also have exchange with other internet governance spaces. We also wanted to spread those good practices in internet governance and we also wanted to improve the knowledge about internet governance and the knowledge about, uh, a knowledge about the approach to this. And this approach, these principles that we always refer to, they tend to be, they are captured here. It's what has been discussed at the global level and it's one of the things that we, we recognize at LACNIC that it's important for recipients of the Leaders Program. 
the initiatives must be open and transparent and openness in terms of calls for uh, topics, calls to present or organize workshops. We, initiatives must be inclusive. There should not be any bias to one, any particular stakeholder group or any particular entity. It must occur in a bottom-up fashion. Um, there is a huge uh, emphasis on there not being commercial interests, so no commercial interests, and of course, multi-stakeholder. So LEADERACE reinforces these internet governance principles, the organizational principles that we would like to see across the region. And how we intend to execute LEADERACE, it's through a number of ways. Firstly, it deals with the evaluation of the organization of an NRI, and in this evaluation, we, will like, we give support to communities to review the definition of their objectives, to look at the information and the groups that are participating in their space, and to also look at diverse sources of financing for to, and ensure that this is done in an independent manner. One of the big changes that occurs with NRIs as, comp as opposed to any other internet initiative is that we're not talking about sponsors, but rather donations and donors to the NRI. We also give financial support to NRIs. In the last year, we give small grants to the tune of $1,500. This year has been adjusted a bit. And we also ensure that in our spaces, the communities would have access to experts from LACNIC in the topics that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. So be it our cybersecurity initiative and war, be it resource management, uh, be it internet governance. And of course, we will give grants to particular leaders from a community to be able to participate at the LAC IGF level, and we give other auxiliary services such as communication support for NRIs. In terms of the results of leaders last year, we had a couple of instances of national spaces that we supported, including Costa Rica, Guatemala, Peru, Bolivia, Argentina, Panama, and Uruguay. And this support would have consisted in a combination of financial support and or the uh, availability of a LACNIC expert to uh, give presentations at the actual initiative. We also identified, we had applications for two uh, leaders um, coming from the initiatives from Trinidad and Tobago and Uruguay. And in terms of this year, we have already had an instance of uh, participating and lending support to the IGF in Trinidad and Tobago at the start of this year. And the topics that we, we presented on, the topics that we were involved in, uh, included uh, internet governance, resource management, uh, cooperation projects, uh, policies from the LACNIC community, so doing a bit of a relay or a bit of a, a report on what the policies in the LACNIC community are, and um, protection of criti critical internet infrastructure. So the website is up and running. We have officially launched this call for this year uh, about a uh, few weeks ago, the start of this, oh, pardon, this is me, the start of April. And on this website, to be able to find it, I'll give you the information there. The second point points to the breadcrumbs to be able to get to Leaderis, which is our homepage, then community, then internet governance. But of course, you can also go directly through the URL. I needed to highlight that on the website, there are actually two forms. One form deals with support, leader support at the national level, and then the second form deals with wanting to be identified as a leader to be able to participate in LAC IGF. So 
under those two forms, and in particular the LAC IGF route, one of the things that we will request, for instance, is that you provide a supporting letter from your community saying that you are the designated person uh, to receive uh, this particular grant. And at the LAC IGF level, what we try to encourage is that these leaders, they participate in panels, they participate in other exchange groups, and ultimately what we want to really generate is a community of knowledge and actually collaborate with other spaces and other initiatives to really enrich this community of knowledge that would help improve our internet governance processes at the national level. And of course, for any queries, any further information, we have a, an email address, which is leaderis at lacnic.net. So without Further ado, I'd like to thank you very much, and at this point, I'd like to ask if there are any questions. And of course, please ask your question in Castellano, no hay ningún problema. Como decía, bueno, en mi cabeza me sentía un poco como el clima de hoy, pero no hay ningún problema para hacer preguntas en castellano. Bueno, pues muchas gracias. Gracias, Kevin. Ahora...